In this episode of a mobile home makeover, there is tree trimming, nail pulling, TSPing, and a surprise return. Back for another day. Color scheme's starting to go on. That'll be the main color. Trim color, accent color. We want to go with like a little more golden gold, a little more yellow in the blue in the green. The underlayment uh, under this kitchen floor was put in with a series of brad nails. Yesterday, Deb was trying to take them out and uh, found it to be quite difficult because they're long. Question is whether it will be easier to pull them in, pull them out, or bang them in. She did an admirable job yesterday. Cause those are in there solid. The other option, of course, is grinding the tops of them off, which oh, there comes one out, which is not a terrible option. Might be a combination of pulling, banging, and grinding. Make sure people don't wear bare feet in the meantime. Like for instance, that's not coming out, so I'm gonna wind up grinding the top off of it, I'm sure. Pulling seems to be very difficult. I tried hammering and my results were inconsistent. So I'm gonna go with another option, which is this guy in place real quick just so we have a railing for the picture for homeowners insurance If this tree was on a, or if this house was on a foundation, it would definitely be necessary to take this tree out. And we probably should take the tree out, but we kind of like how it softens the house up a little bit. So I'm limbing it up right now. one is lifting up this patio a little bit maybe pushing back that wall a little bit definitely was scraping the rooftop but I'm taking off all these branches that are touching looks like this job has been done before by other generations Dogs are having another tough day. 
You know we're getting down to it when you spot that old linoleum. That's the sign that we're at the original layer. <laughs> it would appear that the subfloor under the washer and dryer has already been replaced once. I learn a lot about what other people, how other people work by destroying stuff. So whoever putting this linoleum that was in the kitchen, this linoleum right here, putting this little, it's not a subfloor, it's an underlayment, and they put it over the old linoleum, and then where they needed to fill in gaps, they used some of that floor filler stuff. I mean, I will be when I come back. Yeah, you will be. But I'm super excited that you're leaving. It's, <laughs> it's, so we'll I'll just grab, you know, we'll no, get we'll, through we'll it. We'll zoom call and you can show me all around. Just to give Deb an idea of what the cabinet might look like with some new hardware on it. This is two coats of paint short of being done. <laughs> you like the handle, you know. What do yeah. you think of the, of the overall door with the handle? You know how I feel about these cabinets. I'd like to take them all out and put new things in using these handles. We'll see what it looks like when you've done your repairs and your final. We marked each of the walls that have TS been TSP'd already with these little blue markers. Didn't finish in here. But Kev said this room. You can already feel a difference in here, just on that, that alone. And we still need to do the ceilings. Kim went through and took out all the hardware covers and everything today. Super helpful. First drive in the big blue truck. Uh, the check engine light is on and the fuel gauge reads on empty permanently. So <laughs> that's just how it's going to be. There goes Deb. <laughs> we got one more night together. Mm -hmm. oh, and the trip meter read 60 miles and it only took three gallons, so I don't know, maybe it doesn't get too, too bad a mileage. We're about to find out. Somebody had a long day outside. My brother-in-law came home early, as you saw there at the end, uh, from a trip, and Deb has decided to stay another day, so we get one more day of everyone being together. Tune in next time for uh, more adventures in a mobile home makeover. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.